Hi, this is Tony with the Red Power Team. So we're going to walk through daily operations and that's going to help us get going once we get into the field and this will be at the start of every field you go into this spring. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're powered up, we're sitting in the field, we're going to press the back button on the lower left corner of our monitor and we're going to use our wizards to help us out with this. So I'm going to go into wizards once I'm in the Wizards, we're going to see up top daily operations. We should also notice that there's a green check on all the other Wizard options. This will ensure us that everything is set up the way it needs to be by seeing a green check. So we can go ahead and enter daily operation at this point. Once we're in the monitor, we're underneath of our daily operations. Uh, the first screen that comes up, we're going to scroll down and we're going to make sure that our planter frame is in plant mode. Our bar rays, since we're already unfolded out in the field, we're set into a limited raise, which means when we're on limited raise, the planter isn't going to raise all the way up, allowing us to raise and lower quicker on our headlands. So we're going to select make sure we're set on limited raise. And then your markers is going to be whether you're going to run markers out in the field. So in this instance today, we are running guidance uh, for everything out in this field, so we are not going to use markers. So I'm going to leave my markers off. I'm going to scroll back up on the screen and hit next. Once I hit next, we have our operator. Uh, operator is just red power in this instance. We would press next. Crop type, we're going to be planting corn, so our crop type is corn. Our next screen is our grower, farm, and field setup. So once we're underneath our growers, if we have multiple growers, we can select a different grower. Uh, let's pretend like we're at our farm shop. We just got done planting that south 80. So let's go ahead and create a new field. And let's call this, this might be the north 80, since we just did the south 80. So we have the north 80 entered in so that's the field we're going to start planting if you already have your field set up in your monitor at this point you would hit field and hit select and you would see your listings of fields that are underneath of that farm name so we have our north 80 selected let's go ahead and press next at this point we have our operation instance is one so this is the first time we're planting the field is plant one if we had to go out and do a replant, we would select this box, create a new instance, call it plant two, and this would allow us to replant areas out in the field. Every time I go underneath of this screen, I'm gonna hit our task and hit new. Just out of habit, I always create new tasks as I keep going through this uh, screen. I'm gonna press next. Our work condition. We're on corn 27. So what that means is we've got the corn seed disc in our planter, their 27 cell disc, because uh, that's the way we labeled the work conditions when we set them up. And now we're going to select what am I planting on my planter. So earlier we set up this decalb 4576 number that we just made up. So we've got that hybrid loaded in our planter. We would press next. At this point, we would make sure that we turn on our hydraulics on our planter. If we have a PTO pump, we would turn our PTO on and we would then press and hold our planter system start button. So at this point, this is going to turn on our vac, turn on our bulk fill, and prime those seed discs on our planter to fill them up so that it's ready for planting. Once this is completed, in this video it's not going to complete because I do not actually have seed in the planter. I don't actually have my hydraulics running. So this should fail out on us here in just a little bit because it has not successfully primed the seed discs on the planter. Once it's gone through these steps and it's primed that seed disc, you're going to get a green check up there. You're going to press next. And then you can press your run box and it will take you right back to your run screens so you can start planting out in the field. So hopefully this is a helpful video for you guys and helping you get your daily operations set. Uh, each field that you go back into, you want to make sure that you go right back through daily operations 
to ensure that you've got the right product selected underneath the right field name. Uh, that way we can get variety tracking done accurately for you. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you found the information helpful. Check out our other helpful videos on 2000 Series Planner on the Red Power Team YouTube channel. Thank you.